good morning. Uh, welcome to Coffee Date with Leanne from What's Cooking with the Johnstons. Um, I'm excited that you're joining me and excited to be blogging, uh, vlogging uh, with you this morning. Um, if we were having coffee, I would show you that I'm drinking water from my um, awesome uh, Seattle's Best Coffee Tumbler. Um, I think the last time I was vlogging, um, Jared and I had just started on our cleanse, and um, we are finished. So I could be drinking coffee if I wanted, although um, I'm not a big coffee drinker. So no coffee for me this morning. Um, I, If we were having coffee this morning, I would probably tell you that um, the cleanse went really well. Uh, I learned a lot about um, kind of how my body feels when I eat different foods. Um, I've started adding things back in. Uh, I had a little bit of Diet Coke yesterday, but I'm trying to do it very slowly um, and not kind of overwhelm my system. I've not um, had a whole lot of meat at all since um, since I started, which is actually fantastic, and um, I feel really good uh, with that. Um, I've started adding a little bit of gluten back in, but not a whole lot. A um, little bit of caffeine, but not a whole lot. Gosh, I don't even know if I've had a cookie. Um, I've had some sugar. I had a little bit of chocolate. Anyway, uh, we're slowly getting back into it. I'm discovering that dairy um, is harder for me, so I'm keeping dairy to a minimum, which is fine. Um, so we're learning, um, and we're doing our green smoothies in the morning with some almond milk, and that's been great. Um, yeah, it's, it's good. Um, but I'm glad not to have as many uh, restrictions as we did when we started. Um, so if we were having coffee this morning, I think um, I might be a little embarrassed, but I would tell you that um, that Jared and I are now officially debt-free. Um, I know sometimes on the blog I don't seem like um, maybe humble or shy, um, but I am. Or maybe not humble. I'm probably not humble at all, but um, I, but I'm much more shy, I think, in person. And uh, but I would I would probably tell you that I'm really really proud of us um, for being debt free. If you missed that announcement, go back to yesterday's post, and you can read a little bit about that. And I'll um, I'll be sharing more about what that means for our family um, in the coming weeks. Um, right now, we're just kind of living in uh, not having any payments, which is just awesome. Um, I've been kind of shackled by debt um, for, oh gosh, I got my first credit card when I was 18, so that was um, 13 years ago. Yeah, 13 years ago. Um, I was walking to class, and um, a credit card representative kind of accosted me, and I signed up and have been in debt ever since. Um, so I'm really excited that we don't have any credit cards, we don't have any car payments, we don't have any student loan debt. Um, I'm really proud of us for sticking to it. So it was a very long, hard uh, four years, um, but now, well, four years of marriage, um, I was, I've was i been paying off debt much longer than that. But anyway, um, but Jared and I have been on the same page, and gosh, it's just been fantastic, and I'm really, I'm really proud of us. We worked really, really hard, um, and I'm excited to see how God uses this time um, of debt freedom to allow us to do some cool stuff. Um, so that's, I think, what I'm most excited about, and I think we'll probably keep things very, very tight, at least for the next several years, so that we can accomplish um, the next goals uh, in our life, which, uh, number one, is for Jared to uh, go to seminary, so we'll be making, um, well, we'll be putting away money so that we can pay for seminary come uh, September, and then um, uh, we'll... I guess we're doing things a little bit out of order. We should be saving our emergency fund first, but because um, his seminary payment is in September, we're going to wait. Um, we're going to do seminary for August and September, and then in at the end of September and October, we'll start our emergency fund, um, and then hopefully we'll have that all in place by the end of the year so that um, come January we can really dive into the adoption process Um which brings me to my next thing. If we were having coffee, I would tell you that we're really uh, exploring and um, doing a lot of research about the adoption process. And we've narrowed down that um, we definitely want to adopt internationally, um, but we have not figured out what country we want to um, we want to focus on 
we were thinking maybe China, um, but they have some restrictions that um, that we don't meet. Uh, so we're kind of back and forth. Um, so I don't know. We'll, we're, we're just exploring, and we're going to try and pick a country or at least an area before we pick an agency so that um, we know that they'll um, be certified in that country. Anyway, it's exciting, and uh, we're hoping that in the next probably two years or so we can bring a baby girl home um, from somewhere, and uh, hopefully a baby girl. I don't know. Baby boy would be fine. Um, but anyway, we're really excited about that. Um, other things going on. Things are very busy. Um, Jared and I both have been doing a lot of traveling. He's actually out of town uh, Sunday through Thursday next week, so I'll be a single momming it up, um, which I'm looking forward to spending time with my little man, but uh, not looking forward to all of the things that need to get done to make this house run um, by myself. And I'm just going to miss Jared. So anyway... Um, that's going on. Um, if we were having coffee, I would probably pull out of my purse this book that I'm reading. Um, I know I'm like turbo late on the Jen Hatmaker um, bandwagon, but um, I just got this from the library. It's seven, um, one of her books. You can see it's from the library. Um, and I'm, oh gosh, almost halfway through um, and just like eating it up. I think it's going to be a book I'm going to have to buy. Um, oh, I just love it. I've been waking up early to do this. Um, I oh, just it's a great, great book if you haven't read it. Um, gosh, it's I mean, the back says, Do you feel trapped in the machine of excess? Uh, yes, I do. Um, so the, the subtitle is um, An Experimental Mutiny Against Excess. It's just it's a really neat book. I really like um really like her style of writing. Um, she's very personable and funny. Um, and I think that coming off of the cleanse that we did, living more um, minimally is something that I really am interested in doing. So she focuses on clothing, shopping, waste, stress, media, possessions, and food. Um, so I've done food clothes, and now I'm doing possessions. Um, each um, section uh, is a different topic, and it's just really fascinating. And um, I, don't, I don't think that Jared likes that I'm reading it. In fact, he's already said, I'm not doing that, which um, just means in six months or so he'll, um, he'll be excited maybe about it. I need to slowly get him on board. Um, but anyway, it's, it's an interesting, um, interesting concept, and um, just excited. I've got um, Jen's, uh, another of Jen's books interrupted um, on hold at the library, so I'm excited once I finish this to dive in on that. If you've been following along with our goals, I have not been doing a good job of reading, so um, one of my goals for the month was to um, really find some books I liked to read. I had a lot of books for work in my nightside table, and um, I don't want to read for work before I go to bed, so... Um, so I got some fun books, and I'm reading at work for work, and uh, reading at home for fun. Um, so anyway, that's what's going on in uh, our world. Um, if we were having coffee, I would be done talking now, and I would spend time listening to you and what is going on in your world, and i um, just excited to hear about maybe what you're reading or um, what exciting things are going on um, with you and your family uh, this summer. Um, so thank you for joining us, um, and I look forward to seeing you soon. Bye-bye.